lower you go, the wider it's going to be. And you How might, low can you go, Wooly Bully? Or you can put it up there. And then get tip it. in here with you. Wooly Bully, <laughs> Wooly Bully, how low can you go? <laughs> um, Eva says I'm supposed to call your mom to get money one. so we can put more minutes on the phone I'm sending her. And I should talk to your mom because I was married to her. And we had children, and I asked her if she had ever met them. It sounds like a... Hey, uh, you know, lifetime. Uh, you, maybe you should also be paying attention to where we're going. What do you remember? One of my best memories is when I had cancer and, uh, and you took me kite flying that day. And, uh, Talk about it. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of kites you buy now, they come prefab and, you know, they have their string and they have a couple hundred feet of string. But you guys had this roll of string that had to be a couple of thousand feet long. It was a baker's roll. Yeah, it was a baker's roll. And you had sent down the baker's roll, and I don't know what... No, I gave it to you to hold while I went to get okay. some cigarettes out of the car. Oh, yeah, leave your son on top of a hill to go get some cigarettes. All I know is I, I must have dropped the thing because I dropped it and it started rolling and I went running after it and when I saw it rolling, for some reason I had this urge to start kicking the roll. And I just started kicking that thing and it rolled all the way down the hill. And the whole time that it's rolling down the hill, the kite's getting higher and higher because it was really windy. And, and just to give an idea of like how I imagine how high this hill is, because I was a little kid, this was a mountain to me. I mean, this thing was humongous. I definitely have memories of you, like, uh, pushing me in a stroller and stuff like that. You remember going to the ball game with me? I remember you dropping me in the ball game. I didn't drop you, I knocked well, me Well, you over. knocked me over, yeah. I remember going to the theaters a lot. I remember you being... working late a lot when I was a kid. See, the thing is, my memories of you when I was a kid, they only, they're only up till around six or seven, and then there's gaps. music than anybody else that works there, and I do. And that, what's more, I'm much more interested. I, I'm much more interested than anybody else there. And I'm working in the rap section with one customer, and some lady comes up behind me and says, where can I find the city of New Orleans? And I said, the song or the album. It was written by Steve Goodman, but are also recorded by Arlo Guthrie. And I went, I know this. You know? I mean, I'm even starting to not really know who's good in rap, but starting to like rap a little bit because of my daughter, Eva. Yeah, so who do you like in rap, Dad? I don't know. I don't know names. I just Anything? know I, I just know I don't turn it off anymore when it comes on. I don't know who I'm listening to yet. Can you uh, sing anything that you've heard? No, it just doesn't turn me off anymore. It used to turn me off. Now that I'm no longer repulsed, I listen when I hear it. I don't go looking for it. This is a checkup. Rappers want to die when they mess up. Now you about to die because you shouldn't have put your vest up. Perpetrators trying to stunt like Mwah. with the faux fo the metal blesser. Jay-Z, you ain't no G. This is the year of Puff Daddies and Master P's. If y'all ask me, I'ma say y'all all phony. Ever since Pac died, it's tough Tony. You know what I'm talking about? Represent. Represent, fool. <laughs> represent, baby. What? Why Come not on. represent? I ain't represent nothing. Come on, represent. I came home last Saturday night, and what do you think I found? I went to open my kitchen door, and the door had been broke down. 
I walked inside my living room. What do you think I see? Four big ugly hairy guys just sitting there waiting for me. I said, gangsters, burglars, who the hell are you? You look like a couple of Marfians, baby monkeys from the zoo. If it wasn't for the cut of your crummy clothes, which has me in some doubt, I think you were a bunch of mafia thugs. Come here to drop me out. I feel like you're hyperactive. Cool. I'm trying. I'm keeping a tie. I'm keeping a beat. and I had kicked it at least 100 yards down the hill and you caught up to me down at the bottom of the hill where I was kicking the string the other way and you're like, what the hell are you doing? And the string was attached, was on top of telephone wires and we were running out trying to pull this thing in and the thing had to be, it's, if I remember it, the, the kite was like way over the lake and there were, yeah. um, there were like people boating down there. There were like yachts or something and the kite was out over these yachts, like a couple of hundred feet in the air over these yachts. So yeah, there you go. That's what happens when you leave your kid alone to go get cigarettes, man. It's 2.30 in the morning and we're rolling home to the back cab. Gabe decided we're pretty rich, so we're gonna do it. And we had fun, man. I haven't done, I mean, I like doing stuff out in the city. I love the city. It's my family, you know.